Today we're going to build an Intel Nuke. What's a Nuke? Well, I don't really care. It's a tiny computer and that's the only reason that I got it. We have a Nuke, a solid state drive, and a memory stick. This is all really complicated stuff. As you can imagine, it's not going to take very long to do this. We're going to cut it open. And we're going to hope that that computer behind me doesn't catch on fire. Because that's my kind of luck. Let's take the box off. And voila, it is an Intel Nuke. Uh, it has a plastic thing and a black thing. Very important that you understand these technical terms if we're going to discuss this machine. Uh, it has a bunch of manuals and since I am a man, we don't read manuals, so I'll skip that. This is a mounting plate to hook it up to the back of a television. Intel teeny tiny sticker inside. Let's set those aside. And we have mount screws, which in my experience are rarely as long as they need to be. And this is supposed to be the AC adapter. It's in one of those sealed bags. Let's get that out because we're probably going to want that. Now, look, oh. Oh, look, oh, it's a party. It, oh, oh, look, another one. The generosity of this bag is astonishing. Now, I don't know what country all these other ones are for. Except maybe the one for Britain, because it's huge. But, this one, I believe, is what we want. It's the American one, so all the people that are watching this that aren't in the United States can laugh at how ignorant I am about everything. Um, I don't care. I am busy trying to have beer and cheeseburgers and force my beliefs on others. So you can all just go find something else to do. Now, self-deprecating jokes about being in the United States aside, I'm going to take these things and temporarily put them back in here so I don't lose them. You can go back together. Are you rotated or something? Uh, these boxes, they never want to go back together the way they came apart. All right, let's set him aside. This is a solid state drive. Now, I specifically got a solid state drive that is PCI Express, if I recall correctly. Um, I got that because it's faster than SATA. And this nuke is the one of the thin ones, so it can't fit a normal size laptop hard drive in it. So what do we have in this box? Well, we have paper and cardboard. So it's a very expensive piece of cardboard. No, there is a solid state drive hiding in here. Isn't that beautiful? Boy, I hope it fits. So we'll set that aside as well. And we're gonna need this RAM. I really like cutting things, if you can't tell. That'll probably rip if I just pull up on it. There we go. Ram. We're gonna put this in it, and we're gonna put this in it. Lots of teeny tiny chips. And I like to not scuff it up too bad, so we're gonna put this under it. The screwdriver is one size too small, but it'll be okay because it doesn't take much force to get these out. These are only held together by these four screws. Otherwise, it's just a solid chunk of aluminum. Whole frame is a solid chunk of aluminum. And in my case, this is going to be mounted on the back of a large screen. So, I will be using, and I'll show it to you as soon as this still in yeah yeah there are mount holes here and here 
so we're going to put the studs there to mount it it actually has these studs that that plate it can slide in it's like a quick release so set that aside and oh I did not know that this one could take two sticks it can take two sticks that is pretty cool let's put the memory in memory goes in at a slight diagonal and you shouldn't have to use any force to get the teeth in there and push down until it clicks all right now the less fun part The solid state drive has to go in, and we're going to take this, and it goes here, that screw needs to be lined up a little better, and I'm having quite a day. It doesn't have to be super tight, just snug. There. And we'll, look, there's an arrow that says front. We'll put this and get those started by hand since they have these nice little rubber nubs on them. We might as well. It'll be faster that way. Well, uh, that's it. That That is literally all there is to building an Intel Nuke computer. Uh, now it's just software installation, which I can't really cover in a video like this. So, probably the fastest computer build ever because most of the stuff's already in it. Um, it was more complicated to put the little plug in than it was to pop that plate off. Okay, well... Now I have to do the software, so I'll see you later.